Here in Louisville, we are very fortunate to have innovative medical procedures that happen right here in our city. We're going to talk about one of those with a professional from Advanced ENT and Allergy. This is Dr. Keith Forwith. Dr. Forwith, welcome aboard here. Thanks. Pleasure to be here. All right. Now, you focus as in your medical practice, you, as far as you focus on, on thyroid health. Okay, so what, what, what attracted you to that? And I'm, I'm curious about how does that fit into the whole allergy and ENT thing? Yeah, so I've been here in Louisville for about 20 years and about 10, 12 years ago, we had a new ultrasound machine come into the practice. And after work one night, I was there by myself and I started playing with the buttons to kind of figure this thing out. Didn't have a patient, so I stuck that ultrasound probe on my own neck and there was a thyroid nodule sitting in my own uh, thyroid and suddenly my interest in thyroid which was sort of general and so to speak all of a sudden became very personal um, and then over the course of the next 12 years it's become my main focus of practice I still do a little ear nose and throat but I do a lot of thyroid parathyroid uh, disorders diseases surgery and so forth you, you mentioned a, a thyroid nodule you said that so so doc what exactly are they and how do they negatively affect someone's health so thyroid nodules are very, very common. One in six women have thyroid nodules, and most of them are benign. So that's one of the important things. Now, for a small percentage can be thyroid cancer, so kind of picking them up early gives us a real good chance for high thyroid cancer cures, but a benign thyroid nodule just kind of sits in the thyroid. Sometimes it grows, and if it grows large enough, it can become difficult to swallow, it can cause some irritation that causes coughing, if they become large enough, which we breathing. see this quite frequently, it can affect breathing as well. Yeah, and then you, then you talk, start talking about affecting your sleep and all of that kind of snowballs into this negativity. Okay, so this is important surgery, and, and I have noticed on some people the nodules that you speak of. So let's talk a little bit about this new innovative surgery. I mentioned the fact that we're fortunate to have you here because it's my understanding that you were like the ninth person to perform this. Only 25 in the country can perform this surgery, and it has been very effective. So talk about that. I mean, you're, you're a humble guy, but brag a little bit on yourself. I mean, this is innovative surgery. So. Um a few years back, um, a couple of my friends that are at uh, Johns Hopkins um, had learned to do this by going overseas. Um, and they said, Keith, you got you to yeah. look into this. This is such a great treatment option because it is non-surgical. And there's a lot of other advantages. And once they talked that, I said, well, I think this is something I need to investigate. So I ended up in 2019 going to Brazil to learn this from one of the masters. Uh, Dr. Rangel in Brazil has done this for years and years. So I went and worked with him and he was kind enough to allow me to learn on his patients. And he'd kind of stand over my shoulder um, watching to make sure I did it appropriately and that I learned correctly. So the FDA approved this in late 2018. I went and learned it in 2019 and we've been offering it to patients since that time. So what, what was the alternative prior to this surgery? What I, what I love about what you said is non-invasive. For those who do not want to go under the knife, this has been proven to be effective. What was the former method, doctor? So for people who have growing thyroid nodules that are causing those kinds of problems, prior to this, really their only surgery was to either have half of their gland removed or all of their gland removed. And a lot of times half would do, but sometimes it was the entire gland. But in either case, you would be facing the potential of being on a lifetime of replacement hormone. Now, replacement hormone is a pill that you take every day, and certainly it can be done. But honestly, no matter how good we manage the replacement hormone, it's never quite as good as Mother Nature. So when you have a gland in your neck that's producing thyroid hormone 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that gland responds to the ups and downs of what's going on in your life, and taking a single pill every day isn't quite the same. So protecting that working gland is something that is a huge attraction when you're talking about losing part of the gland to surgery oh, yeah. versus now this new technique allows us to save the working part of the gland and it's non-surgical, so that's a big bonus. And you had mentioned to me that it, you know, you have enough of a test sample now that you know it's very successful. The name of the surgery, correct me if I'm wrong, it is thyroid radiofrequency ablation. Ablation? Ablation. Ablation, okay. Ablation, yeah. We're gonna take a look at some pictures here, and because you look like you're a sports guy, you're gonna do the, the color analysis okay. here. So, okay, so All we're right. looking at before and after pictures, and you tell me what we're looking at here. Okay, so this is a patient of mine who came from just north of Indianapolis down. Uh, the picture, um, the before 
picture there is what she took at home before she came to see me. Um, and you can uh, hopefully obviously see the lumps in her neck. Um, her thyroid had gotten quite large and she had been told for years that she had this goiter, but it was getting bigger and she was told by several doctors that she really needed to have surgery. Um, but she was very resistant to that and then she found out through an internet search that I do this RFA procedure. So she came to see me and the picture you're looking at that's the after picture is six months after her procedure. And you'll notice there's no scar whatsoever because this is a probe that we use to do this, not a knife, not an incision. Um, so there's no scarring in the neck. And we do see this type of result more than 90% of the time. My it's goodness. quite remarkable. I mean, I would have guessed she went through surgery for that. So this is done with radio frequency. Unbelievable, it is non-invasive. So you, like you said, no scarring. And, and let's face it, Doc, even if it is benign, I think all of us have a little bit of a, you know, we, we want to have our parents look good, a little vanity here, and that's okay, that's understandable. So this would also take care of someone who has any, any nodules that they know that's benign, but it's just unsightly, right? So definitely unsightly, but when we say benign, realize that what we mean is that that is, in a lot of cases, there's a tumor in the thyroid, and while it's not going to spread to other parts of the body, it can do plenty of damage and yeah. cause all okay. kinds of problems right where it is. So what we'll see frequently, and what she had was when she laid down, if her neck came down, it would cut off her windpipe. Oh. And so. I see. So just because it's benign doesn't mean it's harmless. Right. So when we say cancer, that has the potential to spread into the neck. For instance, thyroid cancer can go into the neck and it can go to your lungs and elsewhere. But on a benign tumor of the thyroid, it's not going to go anywhere else, but it still can cause problems right where it is, low in the neck. So allergy ENT and uh, our advanced ENT and allergy. Lucky to have you, but here in the city of Louisville, this is this is no exaggeration. We're lucky to have you because there are so few physicians that perform this. Correct? Um, there are very few, and that's getting better. So last year, I was scheduled to go and teach three different courses where physicians could come and learn that procedure. Turns out, because of COVID, we were only able to do one of those workshops. But this is such a great procedure that. I personally am sort of on a crusade to teach other people how to do this because ultimately when you're in medicine, what you want to think of is what's best for your patient. What would you do for your own family members? Luckily, my thyroid nodule hasn't grown at all. So it's small, it's not causing any trouble, it's benign, so it's just sitting in there. But if that starts growing, I think I'd rather have a non-surgical sure. solution and have the rest of my thyroid continue to work normally rather than have to take a pill every day. And even though I'm a doctor, I'm like everybody else. Sometimes I miss those morning pills that sure. I'm supposed to take. And um, keeping your thyroid is such a valuable thing that this RFA procedure is really exciting because it gives people that option. So someone who wants to, who's interested in this procedure for them, for themselves or a loved one, if they want to call Advanced ENT and Allergy, is that the process to get this started? Where can they go for information and how do they get this process started? Yeah, so it's pretty easy. They can just call our practice. Um, anyone they talk to at our practice knows about this procedure. Um, they can certainly go to my website, which is thyroid.doctor. They can go to our Advanced ENT and Allergy website. Um, so it should be easy to get a hold of us. In fact, we have people from all over the country who've come in. We've had Calgary, Canada, Seattle, Massachusetts, Arkansas wow. Wow. that fly in and drive in because they want this kind of procedure. And we're training more people to do it, but it's just not av as available um, as it will be in the future because it's such a great alternative. And th this has to be very, I would think, satisfying for you, very rewarding for you because you go through this training and then you see the results and you see the fact that people are living better lives, able to breathe easier, et cetera. I mean, mm -hmm. this has to be really rewarding. It, in Especially for somebody who's been in practice for 25 plus years, this is a new and fascinating horizon um, right now, this is FDA approved for benign thyroid nodules, but we are starting to do research where we're using it for small thyroid cancers that can be cured without surgery. So, the, so this may be just the, the frontier cutting edge, yeah. is really exciting. The cutting edge wouldn't be the appropriate term, not non-cutting edge, right? Because yeah, exactly. there's no cutting. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> okay. Advanced ENT and allergy. Dr. Forworth, I really enjoyed the conversation. Again, Thank educated you. a little bit here, and now I know, hey, if you know someone who has thyroid issues, maybe they have the nodules, they'd like to take care of that, non-invasive, and you saw the results. They look fantastic.